Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how RCM is applied to goods transport agency or GTA or transporters in the MARC software. Let's first understand what is goods transport agency or GTA. If a transportation agency provides road transport services to a company for the movement of goods from one place to another and issues a consignment note, then that service comes under the category of transportation or GTA services and under the provisions of GST, the government allows the transportation agency to collect tax from the company instead of collecting it from the transportation agency itself. This tax is collected through the RCM method at a rate of 5%. In this case, the transporters do not receive ITC means input tax credit, but the company receives ITC. And in the MARC software, there is a provision where the transportation tax is not calculated when the transporter generates a sales bill for providing transportation services. Let's now see the process for this. For this, you will go to the Masters to Mark Setup to Control Room. Then here, search the RCM and click on Accept. Then here, you will see the option Reverse Charge on Sales. It means, if you want to apply Reverse Charge on Sales, select Yes from here. Then press the escape key to save the changes. After that, you will generate the sale type. For that, go to masters to ledger masters to sale to new sale. Then you will select that, whether you are creating a sale type for local or central sales. For now, let's select local. Then mention 2.5% in SGST and 2.5% in CGST. Because, as said earlier, there is 5% RCM applied to transportation then its shortcut name, which will be displayed based on the sales type and tax rate. If you want, then you can rename it. But here you will take care. First you will type the RCM here and then mention the name which you want. Then select the sale local because here we are creating local sale type. After this, now you will keep pressing the enter key and accept it. Now, we generate the sale bill. Here, for the party, for which you are generating the sale bill, Press F3 on that party and go to ledger detail. Then modify it and from the GST heading, select ask local. This means that during billing, the software will ask you for the local sales type. Then press the page down key and save it. And now, when you generate the bill and in the type field, press the space bar. The software will ask you to select the sale type. So select the sale type which you have created. Then select the item, enter the quantity and rate and you will notice that the software does not calculate the tax here. Now save the bill. After this, go to GST to GST R1, then mention the period for which you want to view the GST R1 summary, and click on show. Then press enter on the B2B record, and you will see the bill you created displayed here. And it is also showing a tick in the reverse charge column, which indicating that RCM has been applied on this. Afterward, Generate the GSTR1 return. For this, click on GSTR1 returns and select the format in which you want to generate the GSTR1. Like we select GST in Excel template and click on start. And in this way, the GSTR1 return generation process will start and the Excel file will open as soon as it is generated. And you will see that the bill which you have created has a Y in the reverse charge column which means that RCM will not be applied on transportation at the time of billing, but it will be applied at the time of GST R1 return. So friends, in this video, you have learned to apply RCM on transporters in Mark software. Thanks for watching.